Okay, so here's a simple exercise to help us understand uh, open circuit voltage. So in this case, they're asking us to find what the value of VAB is with the circuit open. So this can be a little bit tricky, but you know we just need to take a, a systematic approach to that. So so let's uh, let's see how this works. So the first thing we want to do is see if we can determine what the voltage drop is across uh, this resistor. And then once we have that, we should be able to sum voltages in the right-hand mesh. So when we look at this, uh, we see that if we take just this part of the circuit, that uh, it's just a voltage divider. There's no current flowing here, right? It's because it's open circuit. So. Uh, it's almost like we can just ignore the right half of that circuit for now. So uh, to do that then, it's just a voltage divider when we look at that. <clears throat> so we know that uh, there's a relationship for voltage division, and that is that the voltage across what we'll call the load resistor is going to be equal to uh, the load resistor plus the additional inline resistor times our voltage source. So in this case, uh, what we'll have then is the, is the voltage across the 25 ohm resistor is going to be equal to the, let me rewrite this, across the 25 ohm resistor is going to be equal to 25, which is the value of our load resistor, times 5. Let me write that. Over 5, um, which is our inline resistor, plus 25. And that's going to be times our source voltage, which is 60. So if we were to plug all of that in, uh, it's going to be, what, 25 over 30 times 60. Plug that into the calculator, and we come up with 50 volts. So that's the voltage drop uh, across this resistor right here, 50 volts. Okay, so now with that knowledge, we now want to try to, or now want to determine what the uh, value of VAB is. And so to do that, we want to uh, look at this loop. Let me right, look at this loop right here. We have to sum up the voltages all the way around this loop. Because we know from Kirchhoff's voltage loop law, if we sum the voltages all the way around a loop, they should equal to zero. So we know now uh, what the voltage is across this resistor. Uh, we know this is voltage, it's a voltage source, so we need to know what the voltage across this resistor is. Well, we already said there's no current flowing there because it's an open circuit. So that being the case, um, that tells us then that the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor, which we said is 10 times zero amps, is going to be zero volts. So now we just sum up the voltages around this loop. So uh, let's just start from this node and, and go this way. So we see we have 15 volts for the 15 volt source uh, plus zero volts, which we said was the 10 ohm resistor. Then we have VAB, which is our uh, open circuit end that we're looking for. And then we come around and we have going against this voltage, so it'll be minus 50. And if we sum all those up around that loop, it has to equal to zero. So now, if we solve for our VAB, uh, we add 50 to both sides, and we subtract 15 from both sides. And then what we are left with then is the VAB is equal to 35 volts. So what this means then is, if you were to come and apply a voltmeter to this circuit, what you would read is 35 volts across those terminals.